hi hi guys we are back again with another video so beautiful people of ghana and beyond i hope that you all are doing amazing i bless god for the grace to keep on and i thank you guys for your support i thank you guys for showing up here every single day if you are new here where to hit the subscription button and of course if you subscribe on the bell notification put it on the last one that says all that way is the only way you get notified anytime i upload a video so today i'm taking you back home to my region of residence which is the greater accra region region <laughs> We are going to take a look at these guys that are giving Prempe College a run for their money. A yaga yaga yaga. Prempe College has a lot of people that makes them not sleep at night. I know, I know the likes of Owas, Prisek, but hey, I didn't know about St. Thomas Aquinas. And today that I know, I will not hesitate to bring it out here so today we are going to cantonment to take a look at this all boys senior high school prempe guys prempe college how far <laughs> let's go check these guys out first and i will be back let's go uh, let's get ready to rumble today we're touring the campus of st thomas aquinas senior high school st thomas aquinas is a public boys day high school located in osu in the greater okra region of Ghana. The school was established in 1952 and has risen to become one of the best boys schools in Ghana. Is the best day school in the country, and uh, I'm happy today. I have my old home president with me. In fact, out of the student I presented, 70% uh, scored uh, passes in eight, seven, and above. We have only we had only two students who had five passes, all of them passed, all of them. 
and we had only four students who were absent. Probably due to COVID, they had traveled and couldn't come. So that is the, the, the result. But I have analyzed it. We have had the spams. Uh, school performance appraisal meeting, and uh, we, 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 we are so grateful, and I commended the staff for that. It's, it's, it's the work of God and the hard work of our student and staff, but many of the trophies here are not only for sports, okay. debate, science and maths, uh, drama, uh, athletics, independence celebration, uh, awards. Uh -huh. So they, we are always winning. an index. I am an exponent. I am a power. I am St. Thomas Aquinas. Logarithm. That is correct. That came on the third clue. They have three points. Not applied to general aspects of cell growth. My effect modifies the entire body of an organism. These modifications include the maturation of enzymes, blood cells, and the remodeling of the ne nervous system and digestive system. In an insect or amphibian, I am the process of transformation. Yes, St. Thomas Aquinas. Metamorphosis. That is correct. I am a physical quantity. I am encountered in both kinematics and dynamics. I am used to describe the motion of an object. I am the rate of change of a vector quantity. My rate of change is called jet. Yes, Aquinas. Acceleration. That is correct. That came on the last clue. Three points. Our last riddle. As a chemical species, I may be considered useless. I am usually an anion or a cation. I am perhaps the laziest of all chemical species. This is because in a chemical reaction, I am usually present. After seeing these guys now, I know, I know Prempe College, Prempe College and other grade A's and other colleges when they are sleeping at night, they used to see these guys in their dream. I mean, like, these guys, as we have always done it, we are going to go take a look at their old boys because it's a reflection of the future. For me, I like feedback. Anything I do, I like feedback because I believe in this life, there is nothing other people have not done. Maybe they just did it slightly different from what you are doing, but people have taken the action before. And for me, I like, I like to always like to take a look at people that were there before <laughs> so let's go take a look at the guys that were here before all right the old boys of saint thomas aquinas senior high school in ghana let's go check them out and i'll be back uh, i'm happy today i have my old home president with me in fact it is a combined effort as you have rightly said not only management it's it only inc it includes the old student the church how they monitor activities in the school and i, I would say they are the the people who have helped us to reach this status kofi asari bediako an alumni popularly preferred as old tom also serving as the welfare chairman of the school shares with us some exciting moments he experienced in school and their contribution towards the school. I'm um, an old Tom. We we call it old Tom, and I'm the welfare chairman for the whole school. Yeah, so I take care of the welfare of every teacher, including even the head. Yeah, so I I say that yes, I'm a very proud old Tom. Yes, and um, I think that. I've been in this school for some time 
Uh, I'm with the social science department. Um, my area is economics and then social studies. I gained admission into this great school um, in September 1987. I then completed my O level in 1992. Um, went to six form here from 1992 to 1994. Then I continued to my university and then I have come back here and I started teaching here in 2007. And so up to date, I have been here teaching. The contribution has been enormous. I mean, I myself, I'm an old Tom. And if I look at my contribution, um, even in terms of the teaching, when you see the old Toms on staff, the, the way, I mean, they teach enthusiastically because they want the school to always move forward. And then they help in administrative work. They help in all areas just to make sure that the school maintains its good name, that it has gotten throughout. The old terms too have been of immense help when it comes to uh, contributions to any structure or any system that has to do with education. Uh, my badge, we, that's a 1992 badge, we uh, contributed to the building of the sick bay and we have seen that the sick bay is too small. Uh, we are trying to uh, put up a bigger one. It's behind there when we have time we can go for and then you see. Understands uh, the nitty gritty of education and has uh, some knowledge about the legal the legalities in uh, managing affairs. So first of all, I would say that it boils down to a very good uh, board chairman. And then uh, from my experience throughout my engagement on the board, I think almost everybody has been very contributory because we have people from education. This in the regional director is represented. So anything that has to do with education, policy and those things, they guide the board, decisions that are taken. The, they guide the board. Then we also have the traditional authorities. They are the people uh, in terms of uh, the land. They also advise on issues to do with uh, culture.
things I couldn't find online, but there's so many things that have been done here. And I noticed that the ex-boys of this school, they, they didn't change. They are still very hot by fire. <laughs> They are still very hot. Now listen, if you're married to a Ghanaian man and you are not Ghanaian and you found love with a Ghanaian man, I want to say congratulations. But my dear sister-in-law, you see my brother, don't disturb him when it comes to his alma mater, okay? <laughs> Support him when it's time to give back to his alma mater, okay? Uh -huh. So that your love will not have any crocro inside. <laughs> I don't know if you understand so that you guys will not argue because i've realized that his alma mater is a part of him so please do not come in between him and his alma mater if you are not from this culture of giving back of taking your your country responsibility as your own culture is a lifestyle is a tradition is a, is a lifestyle in ghana so all you need to do is to support my brother so <laughs> let's go back to the school and take a look at everything that we can find and i will be back as always let's go being in acquaintance is like you being next to the throne of god it's like you being in heaven <laughs> like the feeling alone in acquaintance makes you excited. The environment is just like serene, good for learning. Like what, what again do you need? And even where we are situated, Cantonment, one expensive and luxurious city in Ghana. As the first assistant head prefect of St. Thomas Aquinas Senior High, I would like to be remembered for ensuring discipline among students because over the years this has been a boys school and you and i will testify that indeed taking care of boys is really a headache yeah it is it is really a challenge so i would like to be remembered for instant justice and fairness okay so one of my inspirations in this school is how we are being groomed as gentlemen holistically in using the Catholic discipline <laughs> yes, to achieve higher academic excellence. Yes, right. Accommodation. Yeah, right. It may have been the battle of mathematical accuracy and scientific know-how, but history has taught us that where two or more schools are gathered, there's bound to be another kind of competition. A JAMA competition, also known as VIM or Morale. The grand finale of the National Science and Maths quiz was no exception. The noise in the auditorium was deafening as the three schools cheered their respective representatives on. It was St. Thomas Aquinas that took the lead and seemed to have taken the home advantage by rapping in their numbers. Wanting to be outnumbered and outsung, Prempe College descended with full force in all their osacrum glory and the auditorium had them loud and clear. At Isado College, comparatively few as their voices were drowned out as the old Toms and Amanfo continued their Jama tug of war. At the end of the day and by a hair's breath, Prempe College tucked the bragging rights as the 2017 National Science and Maths Quiz champions
the guys that are giving these guys have a lot going on for them like they are dealing with preset on the other hand they have um Prempe college they know they rest <laughs> Then all the rest. Don't rest, my brothers. Continue, okay? I like it. Healthy competition. But at the end of the day, Ghana comes first. And that is what I'm talking about. Ghana comes first. And that is what gives me joy. Sometimes when I'm doing this research, I just kind of overjoy. You need to see me when I'm doing research. I dance. Sometimes, sometimes at the cost of doing research, you see me dancing a, like a small girl. <laughs> These guys are making me feel younger. I don't go go marry. I go sit down here on top of this series till I old because they're making me feel young. And I love everything I'm seeing. You guys, yeah, Ghana makes it very easy for someone to project okay when you want to market the country it makes it very easy for you to market the country because for someone like me i will always choose my brand before food that we eat because i know that god that i serve will never let me go hungry he has never done it before and he won't do it now so instead of me to sit down and lie just because i need the views i would rather <laughs> And then when you come to Ghana, you don't see that. No, 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 that's not me. So whatever I put out here is what you will get when you get to Ghana. And I love it. Thank you so much for all of the support. Continue to send your kids back home to school here. And you see Ghana, Ghana is going to save Africa. You guys will not understand, but one day it will happen. And I believe that you guys will open your hearts to help other people because they will need it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this one. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.